makes it sound, you can make a transition, you should do it as long as it doesn't slip up. Oh, the slip, come on, he's done it! Airborne projectile, two-time grand champion, Kazan Seiya! Welcome to Ninja Warrior of Roblox. Today marks the start of the 8th tournament. In the last tournament, 100 competitors attempted the 4-staged obstacle course, and though many tried, 98 were defeated. But despite the odds, 2 competitors managed to reach the top of the tower and become grand champions. They were vo veteran CG10, and now 2-time grand champion Airborne Projectile, aka Reality Pales. Because of their total victories, the course has gone through a complete redesign, starting with a brand new first stage, which features new obstacles. Starting with the ramp climb. Three ramps. Just jump on each one. Not too simple. After that, they face a redesigned rolling boulder, which now features two drops. And there's no trap to support it. After that is the reverse jump hang, like the double semi lantern jump hang. Jump from one head to the next. You get past that, you then drop down a hole, which leads to the next new obstacle, the jumping spider. Jump on the flow pad, get to the ledges, jump between each ledge to the next. After that, they face the new conveyor attack. If the conveyors were actually moon, you can actually see it in action, but you get past the conveyor, get onto the rope, make a safe landing to the next obstacle, the Great Wall, which is completely unchanged from the last turn. It's the exact same. Jump up the wall, grab the rope, and you're on to the new vault launch. Pull vault off the vault, reach the flow pad, and make a safe trip to the final obstacle, the Stairway to Victory. Very simple, jump up one stair to the next, climb the ladder to the end, and if uh, one new, hundred new competitors will attempt it and do it in 85 seconds, they'll complete stage one. Now let's head down to the course, where the first 30 competitors will take on stage 1. Alright, let's get started. Kicking off the tournament is Newcomer Whirlpool 730. Yeah, 100 competitors again. The first 30 will attempt the first stage. 85 seconds and he fails. Doesn't even get to the second ramp. Next up is Ninja Warrior Man Ninja Warrior. We already heard Ninja Warrior the first time, do we really need reminded that there's t two of it? Yeah, that's kind of weird. Anyway, it's on to the second ramp. Oh, he slips out the third. Too bad. All right, we're now on to... Look, you, that kind of username was not tolerated Ninja Warrior of Halo, and I won't tolerate it here. Thank you for failing miserably. Oh, my. That was definitely a sign of God. <laughs> All right, now we're on to Bubba Ace 20... All right, who took what, one of my 36 clones? Moreover, how did this one find this place? <laughs> That is really strange. I mean, how could you have found these guys? Whatever. Well, I made this course, so I guess I'm not too surprised that this bubble cleared the first obstacle. First one to do so. But since I'm the only one who actually tested this course beforehand, I don't see one of my imposters going all the way. And I say imposters in quotes. Yeah, he can't even get up this simple first net. I don't expect him to make the jump here. I totally called that. But it's still sad to see him fail. Alright, next up is King of the 69. King of the 69 what? King of the 69 noobs? Well, I don't know. I'm not sure if it's noobs, because he's doing well. Yeah, he gets past the first obstacle. So I do wonder what that 69 is for. Maybe it stands for 69 promising runs? So I'm pretty sure we'll see many of that here. Alright, reverse jump hang. Ah, he grabs the second net. He's up. He's got to make the drop. There he goes, he's onto the jumping spider. You gotta jump on the flow pad, you gotta hit a dead center, don't reach one of the sides. Ah, oh, he fails. Hmm, look at the replay, he kind of jumped on the side of the flow pad, and because of that, he couldn't make it work. <laughs> and his run was cut to an end. Put to an end. Why'd I say cut? Alright, we're now on to our regulars. We're starting our first returning painter, Gutter 19479. 19479. Can't remember, anyway. He made, made his first appearance in the last tournament. Oh, he doesn't even jump off the third <laughs> ramp. Oh, he just walked off. I'm sure he intended to jump. Next up is now the regular Lugia 12358. Like Gunner, this is his second appearance, and he made his uh, debut in the last tournament. All right, on the third ramp. Oh, he does what Gunner did and just walked off the third ramp. Hmm. All right, now on to Lazy Bum 123, the brother of Jake the Master 17. He's now making his fourth appearance on the course. Made his debut back in Tournament 5. 
has competed in every tournament since, but hasn't gone very far, and it's the same here. That was pathetic. I'm sorry to say, but yeah. I get it now, he's too lazy to practice the course, that's why he's called Lazy Bum. Alright, we're now on to Levi! Levi! Mirimberg! Okay, that was pathetic, and I apologize. Alright, taking a break from farming, I guess, and now wants to take on the Ninja Warrior Roblox course. Will we see him in a future Sasuke course? I highly doubt it. But, we can keep dreaming. Alright, he's ironing through the first jump hang. Oh! Doesn't make the jump, and he's down. Poor Levi. Alright, now on to... Are we seriously turning this into a TMZ or Jersey Shore ripoff? Because that's what these people are intending, they've got another thing coming. Close your socket if you like it to be Ha! Well, he fails. Alright, following that, more newcomers and other competitors took on the course, but most of them were defeated by the new ramp climb, and those who got past it, we took on the rolling boulder, we saw our first fail there, official fair, fail, and then the ones after that failed on the reverse jump hang. While one more also made it to the jumping spider, but like King of the 69 jumped to the side of the flow pad and his run ended there. We've had 19 runs, no clear so far. Next up is the Evil Demon RNW. I guess the triple question mark guy was tired of Fluffy quitting his show, so he decided to take over this one. He's gonna have to encounter a certain character illuminating at the tower. <laughs> but he's Don't make me laugh. <laughs> but there's no takeover for you this time. Better luck next time. Alright, now we're on to King MG89. Another regular, formerly known as Master Gut 89, he is one of the um, few competitors to have competed in every single tournament so far. This is its eighth appearance. But since then, he is not com since his debut, he hasn't completed the course. But a couple of times in the past, he's gotten close. I think the closest he's ever made it to complete stage one was in tournament six, where he made it to the Tarzan ropes. And I think he failed the uh, danger climb. I think in the last tournament, I can't quite remember, but. Anyway, uh, let's see, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. His run's lining a bit. But anyway, finally got this up. It took me a while to get it done. It took longer than I thought. Alright, King and Master is on to the float. Jumping Spider, he's got to get the float pad working. Come on. There he goes. He's the first to successfully get onto the ledges. But his time is running out. He's going to have to pick up the pace a bit. But not too much, because these li um, ledges require precision. Come on. Oh, he fails to get to the second last ledge. Alright, now we're on to Chris Mencat. Like Gunner and Lugia, he's making his second appearance here, where his debut was in the last turn. Wow, he walks out the first ramp. Hmm. That's kind of shocking. Sorry to say. Farewell to him. Now we're on to Makoto Nagano 1. I thought there was only one Makoto Nagano, and he is the current... Well, not current. He's a Sasuke Grand Champion. And one of the strongest ones at that, if not the best. Oh my goodness, he's just qualifying the rolling boulder. Wanna know how? Well, when you probably can't see it on camera, but he kind of used one of the red supports, which is a big no-no, to clear the obstacle. He admitted his mistake beforehand, and he was disqualified because of that. Alright, we've had 23 people run the course so far, and not one has managed to clear today. But there's seven more left to run today. Will any of them make it to the end of the new first stage? Let's find out. Can someone at least beat the jumping spider? That's what I like to see. Let's see if the uninteresting guy can do that. Like, uh... Okay, never mind. He's making his second appearance here. He made his debut in Tournament 6, where I believe he fell in the rolling boulder. Now he's going to have his rematch at it. It's a little more difficult than it was last time because it features two drops. But he's done... Wait! Did he wall climb up that? Oh, goodness. Seriously, why do people see in that move? Seriously, I don't know... I can't imagine anyone who actually loves a wall climbing. Well, that's what you get for failing. Or for wall climbing, you fail. Alright, we're now on to Cool Kevin C. Making his second appearance, he also competed in the last tournament. Alright, dude, the lamp's lit up. It's time for you to get moving. Dude. Come on, dude, you only got 85 seconds. It's still time to beat the stage, but come on, you gotta get moving. Go, dude. You already wasted 20 seconds. Well, less than 20 seconds, but you get the idea. Alright, now he's moving. He's suffering from lag a bit, but it doesn't let him stop him. That time it did. 
All right, now we're on to Koki Samya or Koki Samya. I don't know how I don't know how you pronounce that. These are so weird. Anyway, oh, fails to get to the third ramp. He's out. All right, we're on to BRL06, and he started before the lamps could light up, so we got a 10-second penalty. But he fails the ramp climb anyway, so I guess it didn't really matter. And we're now we're on to Little Kid XOXOXO, another newcomer. Aw, do those X's and O's mean kisses and hugs? Or does this kid love tic-tac-toe? It better be one of those two. Did a little lamp intro. Gee, I wonder who else could do that. Yeah, never mind. Well, this so-called little kid is doing very well. He's already on to the reverse jump hang. <clears throat> Excuse me. And he's up at the second one. Or second net. Alright, he's onto the jumping spider. There he goes. He successfully gets onto the glass panel. He's got to make each jump successfully. Oh, he fails getting to the third ledge. Too bad, so sad for him. Alright, now we're on to Yusuke Muramoto, making his third appearance. He made his debut in Tournament 5, and is, he missed out on the last tournament, but after one tournament absence, he is back. Now we'll see how he does on both this course, and how he'll eventually do on Sasuke 30, when it comes out in less than a month. I'm so looking forward to that. He's doing very well, he definitely shows promise. He's on to the Jumping Spider now. He's got to make the flow pad work. Oh, he doesn't make it to the glass panels. He just didn't get enough distance. All right, we're on to our final competitor of the day, Blade Slasher 789. Let's see how far he goes. This competitor, no one's gone past the jumping spider. Oh, and this guy doesn't make it past the third to the third ramp. Before we wrap up, let's take a look at the view. Did you come as no surprise? It is the ramp climb having taken out 17 of today's competitors. Insert your own joke here, because I seriously got none for this. All too easy. Shut up. Anyway, today the first 30 competitors took on the brand new stage one, with the end result being that all 30 failed to complete the very first stage. Sounds kind of strange. Anyway, despite that... Oh. Never mind, none of them can get past the jumping spider. There's still 70 competitors left to take on the first stage. In the next episode, 30 competitors will take on the sta next stage. Or the next 30 will. They include more newcomers, returning competitors, and new veterans. Will they get past the jumping spider and hopefully defeat the first stage? Find out next time, right here on Ninja Warrior of Roblox.